All right, so hello and welcome to another mini series of mine where I'm gonna be showing you how to add adverts to your application. And we are going to be going over three different kinds of adverts. And the first one is going to be a banner ad. As you can see, this one that's placed at the bottom of the screen. And then we are going to go over interstitial ads, which are ads placed in between activity transitions. So you can see we had an ad when we clicked on the button. And when we exit it, we will end up in our second activity. And finally, I'm gonna show you how to create rewarded ads. And rewarded ads are essentially small videos that the user must watch to earn some sort of coin or whatever kind of reward currency you have in your application. And as you can see, as we finished this advert, we were rewarded five coins and that was added to our total coins pile. But anyways, enough of that. We are going to get started immediately by closing this window and getting started with the banner ad. So the first thing we want to do is go to our Gradle scripts folder and open our build.gradle and then down here we have to add this implementation, the one for the play services ads and we will click on sync now. And just as a reminder, I'm going to include a GitHub project link in the description so you can definitely just copy and paste whatever you need to copy and paste if you want to make this a lot easier on yourself. And perfect, it has successfully synced so we can close this Gradle folder and we can go next to our manifest to add a few permissions and a bit of metadata which is required for you to go ahead and use this dependency. So let's get started by adding the user's internet permission which is the easiest one to enter. So we'll start with that. And then right below the app theme, we can create a few spaces and inside here we will add a metadata tag. And inside this metadata tag, we will write Android name and we want that to be equal to com.google.android.gmsads.applicationid. And then right below you will add another one called Android value. And this is going to be for whatever your identifier is in AdMobs or Google Ads, you will place it in here. So we are going to write the sample one. I'm actually gonna copy and paste the sample one from the documentation because in the documentation, they state that it's very important that you use their test IDs because these test IDs do not bring any revenue to anyone and are provided by Google. And it really makes sure that you are not cheating the system and they don't ban you. So it's very important you use test IDs for all of this. So here I have the test ID that Google provided and you will find that in the documentation, which I will leave in the description below as well. Otherwise, you can definitely find it in my GitHub repository. But uh, once we've added this to our manifest file, we can go ahead and move on to our XML activity main. So we will go into our layout folder and open our activity main. And we can just close this manifest folder to make things look a bit cleaner. Then we're gonna go to the split view so we can still see this window to the side. And the first thing we want to do here is change this to a relative layout. And we can go ahead and get rid of this text view. And the next thing we have to do is add the ad view. So we're going to type in ad view. And it should be this first one up here that says com.google.androidgms.ads.addview. And you'll click on that. And we're going to give it a wrap content for width and height. And an ID of ad view. So we'll do ad view. And then we will want this to be aligned to the parent bottom. So we'll assign that to true. And then we also want this to be center horizontal. And then right below this, I absolutely forgot that we had to add a definition for our next attribute. And to do this, we have to write XMLNS and we're gonna add ads. And then we're gonna do HTTP. And we want to pick this schemas.android.com slash APK slash res auto. And with that, we can go down here and type in ads. And for ads, we have to write ad size, and that's going to equal smart banner. And we need to have an underscore in the middle there. And then below that, we're going to write ads, and that's gonna take an ad unit ID. And this is a key you'll find in ad mobs or Google ads or whatever they call it these days. They will give you this key, which you can insert in here, and it will look like this. This is another sample key that Google provided me so I would not get banned from their system. And then we can close this. And let's just tidy that up with command plus alt plus L. But after we've created this XML file, we can go to our main activity. And inside here, we will start by creating a few values right below class main activity. And we'll write private value tag. This is gonna be for all of our logs and it's gonna be called main activity. And then we have to create a private late init var and that's going to be called m add view of type add view and the first thing we want to do on the on create because it's recommended by the documentation is get our mobile ads and initialize it here 
And right below, we're going to write banner add, so I don't forget to call it later. Then we need to create this function. So we're going to go private function banner add. And inside here, the first thing we're going to do is initialize m add view. So we don't have to think about that later. And that's going to equal find view by ID. And we're going to take r.id.add view from our XML file. And then right under that, we can do value add request. And that's going to equal add request dot builder dot build. And we need to import add request. Then right below that, we have to type in m add view. And we are going to load our add request. And then we can add a few listeners, which will help us handle this advert. So we're going to type in m add view dot add listener, and that's going to create an object of add listener. And then inside here, you will have many options to override several functions. And these are all related to the ad that we are loading. So the first one we are going to override is called on add loaded. And inside here, it's going to call super on ad loaded, but we are just going to add a tag that says the ad has been loaded. Then below that, we are going to write on add failed to load, and that will give us the load error, but we don't care about that for now. We are just going to add another tag that says add failed to load. And under that, we're going to write on add opened, and we are going to log that with this tag again, which says log ad has been opened. Then we have on ad clicked. And of course you can add whatever kind of code you want inside here. I'm just adding the logs. So when you play the program, you will understand very clearly what it does. But uh, the next one we're going to do is on ad left application, which says the user left app on the ad. And finally, we are going to type one more, which is called on ad closed. And inside here, we'll just put in this log statement that tells you that the ad has been closed. And after writing all of this, we can go ahead and click on play and wait for the project to load. All right. And as you can see, we have successfully loaded our test ad. And yeah, let's just check the logs to see what happened so far. But as you can see, as soon as the ad has loaded, it will print this log statement that says the ad has loaded. And if we tap on this ad, it will open the ad and it will say the user left the app on the ad. And then we'll be taken to wherever the ad led us to. And if we click back, it will tell us that the ad has been closed. And those are the log statements we have retrieved from interacting with this app. So there's lots of code that could be placed in these overridden functions. And that is up to you to decide what you want to put in there and how you want to use it. But anyways, that was the basic way to create a bottom banner ad. And it should add some revenue to your application, especially if you have some downloads already. But uh, with that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.